All right, so welcome to the Deal Flow Virtual Workshop. Uh, appreciate you guys tapping in. We have a ton to cover here. Um, I always put this out there. If you guys haven't grabbed, you know, your copy of the twenty four seven Cash Flow Playbook or booked your free strategy session where we can get together and talk about some of the issues that you're facing, kind of diagnose where you're at, uh, where where you're at within the process of getting your business started off the ground and um, how we can be of assistance to you and tap you into some of our done for you models. Make sure you reach out. Uh, if, you've, um, if you're here, then you kind of know how to reach me, right? Whatever link you use to get here or medium, you know, email, text, uh, just go ahead and shoot me a text, shoot me an email, tap into my, uh, my inbox on Instagram and ask for a link that I can send you to hop on the calendar. So um, make sure you guys reach out and get tapped in if you're not already in the 100 Keys Masterclass. Uh, so that we can accelerate you there. So let's uh, let's get right into it. What are you going to learn today? Well, today we're going to tap into the systems that I put together for deal flow. It's uh, extremely important, and we'll get into that. But we're going to learn an easy system for locking up great deals on a daily basis. Uh, it's important that you have a system in place for deal flow that comes in daily. And we'll dive into the reasons why. But I'm going to show you a system that won't break at scale. That's the systems that I build. They typically just will not break because I make them extremely simple. I only make a system if uh, it'll work at, you know, 10x, 100x. I never make a system just to, you know, do one deal uh, at a time. Um, we're going to show you my go to sources for deal flow. So this is going to be really cool. We're going to break out into a, you know, actual walkthrough. So we're going to, I'm going to do a screen share and show you where I go to get deals. Um, and how you can kind of set up these same deal alerts that I have so that great deals are finding you on a daily basis. And more importantly, how you can do all of the above on autopilot if it's something that you really want to do and you want to scale. And I think you, you know, if you're here, you, you definitely should want to do this because it's extremely profitable. So why do we focus on deal flow? Well, there are uh, several reasons. These are four that I kind of pulled out. We focus on deal flow because it's the blood flow of your business. If you don't have deals coming in, your business is just going to collapse. You really don't have a real estate business. And how you should think about it is there's always that saying in real estate, you make money on the purchase. Um, and what do people mean by that? Well, when you get really good at real estate and you get a lot of deal flow going on, you start to become highly selective on uh, what deals you touch because you have so much deal flow. And when you get highly selective, you only buy deals that are profitable that you know are guaranteed to make you fifty, a hundred thousand dollars just when you purchase them because you already know the extra strategies and the cost. So it is literally if you got good at nothing else, even if you were a bad rehabber, a bad manager, if you were really good at deal flow and blocking up deals for pennies on a dollar, you'd still be profitable. Um, and you would figure out the other things long term. But if you're really bad at deal flow, it doesn't matter how good of a rehabber you are, you're just never gonna succeed. Um it improves your ability to negotiate. So what do I mean by that? Well, when you have a lot of deal flow coming in, you can now push back on sellers, agents, wholesalers, um, any type of brokers, even you know people who are for sale by owner, because you don't care anymore. I mean, if you had, let's say if you had a deal hitting your inbox every day where you knew you could make 40, 50,000, you wouldn't care to negotiate you know, in a light way with somebody who had a deal where you would only make 25K. You would just say, look, I, I don't care. We got to hit my numbers or I'm not interested. And when you start negotiating uh, strong, you'll be surprised that you get these incredible deals kind of dropped at your feet. Um, so it, it really improves your ability to negotiate. You'll push it way further. And when you push super hard, you're not going to win every deal, but you don't need to. You only need one deal uh, to be won at the right price for you to make your profit margin. It allows you to scale. So when you want to take real estate to the next level, uh, you can run into problems like uh, you're doing one deal at a time. Um, your goal is now to do, all right, I want to do two deals a year. And then I want to do four deals a year. And I want to do eight deals. Well, that's all a deal flow issue, right? If you don't know how to lock up more than one deal per year or one deal per month, you're never going to be able to scale your business and go out and make you know millions of dollars. So having deal flow and, and learning how to tap in is going to allow you to be able to scale. And ultimately, all of the focus on deal flow, all these different disciplines that we'll talk about today, it'll turn you into what we call like the plug. And why does this happen? Because everything, the deal is the genesis of everything in real estate. So if you have deal flow, 
contractors will find you, lenders will find you, um, investors will find you. Everyone will come to you because you have the best deals. You're you're the one that knows how to lock up deals for pennies on the dollar, um, and how to you know if you're in a master class for certain, you know how to turn those deals into profit through that burst strategy. So it'll turn you into the ultimate plug. You can scale your flow. You can uh, negotiate hard. You can add more deal flow in through different streams that we'll talk about. So this all just makes you super profitable long-term. So what is the system that I've built out to acquire, you know, over 150 deals? And these people always ask me like, oh, did you just do, you know, one big deal and you grab 50 properties? No, I did 150 deals in a year. And I locked them up one by one by one using this exact system that I'm showing you right here. And it's a four team member system, right? So here are the players. There's the deal liaison or liaisons. These are like your agents, uh, your wholesalers, realtors, any types of brokers, people who you know have their hands on deals. And I get the question all the time, well, Brian, why, why don't you do more like wholesale activity? Because my focus is all on massive deal flow. My, flow, my, my focus is on scale. So if that means me having a network of wholesalers who can bring me deals where I can negotiate very tough with them. And maybe I pay them four or $5,000 commissions per deal, but I can make $50,000 per deal. I'm still making a lion's share of the money. I'll keep them around and I'll let them pound the pavement because they can bring me more volume than I could do being an individual wholesaler, right? I'm stronger with 10 wholesalers out there working for me than I am even with myself as one wholesaler. Does that make sense? Trying to save $4,000 per deal. So these deal liaisons are out looking for deals. So you're going to keep and build a network of these people so that they can go out and find you deals and deliver them to you. And they're going to bring them to you because they know you're the plug. You know the contractors, you have the connections, and you can put these deals back together. The next teammate is the runner. The runner is arguably, you know, to me is one of the most important teammates um, they're not that expensive. What the runner is, is it's somebody who's going to serve as your eyes and ears. They're just a cameraman. I put a big deluxe, uh, you know, camera there, but realistically they can run around with an iPhone and, and they should run around with an iPhone. I've given them iPads before and they're kind of big and bulky and they typically just drop them and break them, um, you know, in a week or two. And it, it costs you a, a, a nice sum of money, but give them an iPhone, let them run around and grab videos of properties. So they're going to meet up with these deal liaisons to view these properties, um, do visual inspections. You do have to train them a bit, but there's a you know easy process of how to walk through kind of what to look for. Some big ticket things are like, hey, if the the floor is unlevel, if the floor is leaning to the left or the, or the right, tell me because I can't see that in a video. You can only feel that. So you train them in a particular way to get this information back to you. Um, and that is the runner. This could be somebody that you know in any city who's just sitting on the couch. They could be driving Uber, um, doing, you know, doing anything. So you get a runner. Now you have a team leader. This is going to be the leader of a contractor team. They'll call them a team lead, right? So they're going to be somebody with 20, 15, 20 years experience in b rehabbing properties, right? You're going to have them and they're going to be your second line of defense. The runner's your first line. That once the runner finds a deal with the deal liaison, and they say, hey, it looks pretty good. It passes the first uh, round of inspections. You're in a position immediately, which is typically within 24 hours or less, to put out an offer on this property and lock it up. This is really important because speed is what wins deals. And, and I'm going to touch on that when we uh, dive into the deal sources that I tap into. and What are the fastest deals versus the slowest? But speed wins the best deals. The best deals only stay on market for 24 to 48 hours. So you need this system in place so you can get to the best deals the fastest. And that's how you're going to get these pennies on the dollar deals. But the team leader is going to come in after the deal has been put under contract. And they're going to do a final review with a very educated eye to say, okay, this back wall is falling down, but no big deal. We can brick it back up. Um, I know the floor is leaning a little bit, but we can go in the basement, jack up the joists. I've done this in my sleep. Don't worry about it. And they're going to give you that confidence so that you can put out your deposit and then move that deal forward to closing. And then there's the closer, the head of the operation, who's essentially sitting at home on the couch, um, looking at all of this information, doing some coordination between the deal liaisons, uh, the runners and the team leaders, but is sitting at home because they're more effective behind that technology. Behind that technology on the couch, even though it looks lazy, they're able to evaluate 
20, 40 deals in a day if they want to in two, three hours, because these runners are shooting videos that are three minutes long. And as you get good at this, uh, you're going to be able to evaluate deals very quickly because you're going to see a thousand deals in a month. So it's going to accelerate your learning curve. But the closer can be you. Uh, once it's once it's you and you master it, which doesn't take long, you could train a virtual assistant, pay them four dollars an hour and it could be a VA and you can unplug yourself from this entire process. So now you can have a VA coordinating deal liaisons, runners and team leaders to inspect properties, get out and see deals very quickly and lock you up and bring to you uh, deals for pennies on the dollar. So this is the system and the four team members uh, that I used to lock up over 150 properties one by one by one in a year time and that you can use to grab one deal if you if that's where you're at or grab 10 or grab 100 wh wherever you're at um so what are my go-to sources for deals i get this a lot and for whatever reason i found that more people are afraid of uh not having deal flow than even of the rehab process which has shocked me you kind of over the years but it just is what it is so my go-to sources for deals are online auctions. I will tap into online auctions uh, at times. It's not my favorite source. And there, there's several reasons for it. If you want to get into all the reasons, I won't cover them all here. You can tap into my, my YouTube channel, Brian Loves Cashflow on YouTube. And I have a video up that covers you know online auctions and some of the pitfalls there and what I look out for. But online auctions can add volume. So if you're if you need more volume, you may be in a, a municipality in a location in the country that it just lacks MLS volume or tax sale volume. You you can tap into these online auctions to add volume. One uh, caveat about, about uh, online auctions is they're slow, right? These deals, uh, there's a bit more title work involved there. They're not all insurable. So when you go to get financing, it may take you two, three months to get financing on these deals and you have to jump through different hoops. So in terms of speed, I would say they're slower moving deals. So while they can add volume to your operation at scale when you're doing 20 deals a year and you just want to add in a couple more, when you're just getting started and you're doing like one or two deals a year, they're not the fastest deals to get up and running on. So they won't be typically your first go to tax sales. These are the sales that happen with the municipalities. Uh, so like if you don't pay your property taxes, you don't pay your water bill. Uh, some of these these uh, utilities that are government backed, um, they're going to put a lien on your property and they're going to auction it off at the tax sale. The tax sale has high volume, right? They're auctioning off, I'd say anywhere from 100 to 500 properties a month, every month. So super high volume. What I love about tax sales is you can get properties for pennies on the dollar. I mean, I've grabbed properties for $20,000 that had an ARV of 250, 240 like all day. And you can go to the tax sale, like one tax sale, you could grab 10 properties like that. But they're all full gut rehabs, right? So if you're not super well versed in full gut rehabs yet, or you haven't done one yet, um, you don't want to go in and grab like a ton of them. It'll be tempting because they're so cheap, but you don't want to do that. Um, these pro Some of these properties and a lot that hit, they're from people who are deceased or who've just moved out of town and let their properties go. And some of these properties have been sitting vacant for you know, 20, 30 years. So um, there's a specific process for how to inspect them. I'll typically bring out a drone and fly it over the property and stare down at the roof. Uh, you'd be surprised how many of these properties have trees just growing from the basement straight through the middle of the house, um, through the roof. I mean, it's, it's some of the craziest stuff you've ever seen and you can't see it uh, from the ground level. So you really do have to get up and inspect the shell of the property, get into the backyard, Spider-Man your way back there and um, evaluate these deals at a high, high level because they've been sitting vacant for so long. They can have extreme issues but if you have this full gut crew um you can tap these you know all day and you can do you know four or five of these and make forty fifty thousand dollars per deal uh in a year and keep running so the tax sales are there they they are super high volume mls my favorite source for mls which is this just like the market listings like this is a uh, zillow redfin realtor.com you know all of the stuff that just hits the broad general market my favorite source is redfin because they have the best information I've sent, I found. Um, it's just the most accurate, especially when it comes to running comps and they have the most flexibility. And we're going to dive into them um, in, in just a few mo moments here. But they have, the reason I love the MLS is because the deals move fast. So a lot of people think, oh, when the deal hits the MLS, 
too many people are looking at it. I'm not going to be able to get a deal for pennies on a dollar. That's wrong. There are pennies on a dollar deals all over the MLS every day. Uh, sometimes they hit my inbox. I shoot them out to you guys. Sometimes I don't. But a lot of the time I will take it and shoot it out to you guys if you're on the mailing list uh, so you can see what I'm seeing. Um, these deals are hitting MLS and they're just some deals are like 100K profit, 150K profit. Every time I see them, I just say, wow, somebody's going to make 100K off this one. Whoever gets to it first. These are super fast moving deals because from a title work perspective, they're ready to go. I mean, they're all, half of the titles have already been done on these properties before they even hit. So all you have to do is get out there, see them, use that four member system that I showed you, um, get an offer out and lock these deals up. You can close on some of these deals within you know five to 10 days. So if you're trying to do uh, deals very quickly or get into something very fast, the MLS is kind of the way to go um, because there aren't those title issues. These deals are title insurable like from day one, typically. And it's just uh, sellers looking to move as fast as possible. And then Craigslist or Facebook marketplace, meta marketplace, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I go here and I'm going to take you through Craigslist um, because it's, it's just an interesting process. It's a different process, but you can use Craigslist not only to find deals, there will be deals on there from time to time and it will ebb and flow depending on if it's a buyer or seller's market. But I go here for relationship building. Relationship building is key on Craigslist. This is where you're going to find all of your wholesalers, all of those people who are you know, knocking on doors, sending out mailers and going direct to consumer. You're going to be able to build out your network of wholesalers by going through Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, but typically just Craigslist. Um, and that is super important because as you get added to these different mailing lists and you can do this anywhere you know, across the country, you're, the, these people are going to start sending you deals like every day. They're going to blow you up with text. They're locking up deals like three, four deals a week. But if you get 10 or 15 of these uh, wholesalers and they're all you're on all of their mailing lists, you're going to get their deals very quickly. And as you start to buy deals from them and do deals with them, they love repeat business. So they're going to start bringing you the deals first, even before they send out the bulk text. So now you're getting direct to consumer wholesale level pricing without any competition delivered right to you. You're doing no work, just waking up, checking your phone. Oh, wow. You got this deal. Yeah. I think you can make some money off this. Uh, let me know if you want your guy to take a look at it. I'll give you the lockbox. Those are the best texts to wake up to. They're very profitable. So let's uh, take a quick dive into Redfin and then we'll go to Craigslist. Lots of dough, 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 lots of dough,